already tell I am in San Diego at the moment yeah basically I got here last night um, if you watch my Instagram stories my flight was a little bit terrible when you're up in the air at you know those elevations at altitude whatever air pressure is different um, the air in your stomach expands but then I had two sparkling drinks that made even more air in my stomach so I had so much pain in my stomach. Like I literally have never been in that much pain from like gas bubbles in your stomach before in my life. It was miserable, but finally I landed. Um, it was delayed two hours, which kind of sucked, but we were okay. I got here at like one in the morning, got up this morning at like six. So, you know, had like four and a half, five hours of sleep, but we're just moving and grooving. My friend who I am staying with has work all day. Today, tomorrow, Friday, Monday, Tuesday. So I'm just kind of doing my own thing during the day and then meeting up with her afterwards. So right now I'm just kind of walking around downtown, um, just looking at cute little places, doing some work in coffee shops. And then I'm gonna meet up with her afterwards and get some food and do different things. So I'm very excited, I'm very happy to be here. And I can't wait to see what the rest of the trip has in store. Guys, the most bizarre thing just happened in between what you just saw and now, like right as I turned off my camera, right after that last section, this guy who was like 20 feet behind me, he was, where are you from? Like yells it, and I was like, me? Like who's he talking to? And I was like, uh, New Jersey, and he was like, oh, are you staying out here? And I was like, yeah, my friend lives here, like she works downtown, he was like, okay, you wanna get lunch? Like it was literally like barely even like a conversation, I was like, but it, I'm I sorry, I have to get lunch with her, and he's like, okay, well then dinner. And I was like, Drop it, like, no. It was the weirdest thing, so bizarre. Never happened before in my life. Like, there's just a random girl on the street just asking to grab lunch, like, is this how this works? I don't get it, whatever. I'm really enjoying myself, though. I'm just kind of sitting right now, keep watching. I'm very hungry, though. It's 10 o'clock, I already had breakfast. I didn't really show you guys. It was like um, a little lox thing. And now I'm just gonna go do some more walking and exploring. What is up you guys? We are back at the house and I have someone for you to meet. <laughs> this is Molly. <laughs> Hi everyone. So I'm staying with Molly. She's from my hometown. We went to school together, high school together and middle school. No. No. Kelly, no. We met no, we met in um sophomore year English yeah. and you thought it was weird. Yeah, this is Molly, nice but she is out here and I'm <laughs> staying with her. So, um, we didn't end up going to the gym, but we are going to dinner now. So, you know, food over working out always. And then we're gonna hit the hay afterwards and have an earlier night's sleep get so we can actually rest. get some real rest. But we'll take you with us because we're gonna go see some sights maybe a little bit. Okay, bye. morning you guys it is really freaking bright right out here I can't see anything hence my eyes being like this so glasses it is already so today I just wanted to take you through sort of like a day of what I do after going out um, because I'm a big preacher that you can go out you can drink alcohol you can have fun with friends and still attain those goals that you have for yourself so I just sort of want to take you through the different things that I do to sort of make sure that I'm still on track um, while going out and doing different things so last night we did go out I'm in San Diego for the week as you guys know so I was just you know we were here for the weekend and it was a good time um, but afterwards we also had in and out Burger because I can't not eat. I was starving. Like I haven't really been eating that that much here. Um, and I've been walking a lot, so I'm just always hungry. So we got in and out Burger and it was really good. So now it is about eight o'clock in the morning. We are gonna go head out for the day, um, you know, do some sightseeing, hiking, all that kind of stuff. So we're staying really active the day after drinking. A lot of times you just wanna, you know, sit in bed forever, but it's really good to get yourself active, to get your body moving and functioning the way it's supposed to. Drinking plenty of water, so I'm gonna bring my water jug with me. And then we are gonna go pretty much stay fasted until I start getting hungry. So I, you know, I'm not like starving myself or anything. I'm not like waiting till a certain time. I'm just sort of staying fasted, letting my body sort of deal with the alcohol in the system and then eat breakfast. So we're gonna bring oatmeal with us on the car ride. So we're set to go. Love you. Come follow me to a 
So we are on the road. I can't see anything. There we go. We just stopped at Starbucks to get some coffee. We also got some kombucha because our tummies weren't feeling too hot this morning um, from going out last night. But we're all good now and we're eating our oatmeal that we brought with us. And we're just going to sort of go for a little drive. I'm going to do some check-ins in the car and we're just going to have a day. So, yummy. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's the coffee, but my head is pounding. I, I feel also, nauseous. I think we didn't sleep enough. I tried to go oh, back no. to sleep, and um, Kelly came into my room and said, <laughs> I'm worried that we're wasting the day. I looked outside, it was beautiful. I was like, it I was, have a fear that we are wasting a beautiful day. I think day. it was 7.50 in yeah. the morning still. So. I think it's hitting us now. I think the hangover just got here, and I don't like we it, just, but it's beautiful at least. Kelly just was talking about her order at the coffee shop, and she said, I think I'm going to get a glass of water <laughs> and two <laughs> Going up to the counter. I can I have a glass of water into Apple. And then she suggested that we get donuts, even though she doesn't like donuts because she just feels like she should. <laughs> like I just feel like that's what people do, you know? Like I don't want a donut either, but we still I just went to the shop. <laughs> we pulled in. We were about to park. <laughs> I'm trying to do check-ins too. It's just it's going interestingly. I don't know. I don't feel good. <laughs> I'm like this. We're supposed to hike too. I don't know how that's happening. But maybe we'll feel better after we get Advil from a coffee shop. <laughs> we'll update you. We've made a pit stop on the Pacific Coast Highway simply <laughs> to use the bathroom and get Advil because we're at Rite Aid. It's wonderful. Beyond the shores, there is something more. Just waiting for you. I didn't, <laughs> I didn't think we'd actually make it to hiking because I'm not feeling great. I feel but better But honestly, already. I feel better now that we're out of the car. I feel like maybe it was the car that was giving me some weird feels. I don't know. But we're in the sun. We're going to feel better. It's really early still. I keep thinking it's like 3 in the afternoon. Because we woke up it's at 7 a.m. after um, being up to like... I never like, am like this active right after drinking at 10.50 in the morning. Whatever. Here we go. Getting our hiking ready. <laughs> Found wildlife. It I'm me. scared. It's gonna it's gonna jump. Uh, hi buddy. Oh, Do you want a name? Gross. Can I name you Sal? <laughs> That's a bad name, Kelly. Because he's a salamander. That's stupid. I'm gonna fall. Greg. What do you think happens if I poke him? He's gonna run away. Should I try? No. Please. Oh, bye. Oh, oh, okay, bye Sal. Greg, talk to Excuse me? Greg. Sal. Bye Sal. Greg. <laughs> 